Hey guys, so today we're going to finally get around to finishing up the 200 watt solar panel upgrade that I'm going to do for uh, my Sienna. I was originally just going to place it down and um, you know, use the same wiring, but I thought I'd do it all over again and update the wires and show you guys how I routed it into the Sienna without doing any drilling or anything like that. So let's give it a shot. All right, so first of all, my old panel needs to go. It's actually served me well. It was um, installed with this hinge so I could pivot it, but it, you know, you could see it's a little bulky and it's not that stealth. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna put a solar panel inside the basket so it's nice and stealth. That was a pain, but I got the solar panels out, the hinges and all those things so now i'm going to start fresh and lay the 200 watt solar panel right here and it's going to fit great all right if you remember these all power 200 watt solar panels it's a soft flexible panel that i was going to put on my element but my um, charger could not handle um, the voltage in this it's 36 volt my charger and that one can only handle 24 but I got a big charger here that could handle plenty. All right, so let's take a look at these solar panels. Comes with these uh, solar outputs. And you can see it's nice and thin. It's semi-flexible. So you could um, bend it a little bit to the shape of your car if you need to. And it, it comes with these Velcro straps to put right here on these slots. And that's gonna make it the install really nice and easy. Look at that. It's pretty perfect inside my basket. So I'm going to strap these things down and then we'll do the wire connection. All right, so it's a little bit hard to film up here, but uh, I put on those wires, those straps, those Velcro straps. Seems like they fit really nice and snug. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I got them all in. That was actually pretty easy to do with just Velcro. And it should hold very tight because, you know, there's eight points of uh, connection. So now we're going to hook up the wiring. So let's look at these wires. And uh, you can see these are not super long, of course, but they will fit in here. I'm not sure if my camera could pick it up, but there's a gap in there that has plenty of room uh, to hold these wires. So that's what we're going to use and we're going to route it down here. All right. So the wires will come right here and we're going to leave them loose for right now. We'll hook them up later. Um, these are live, especially in the daylight. So uh, you don't want to mess with this unless you're ready to connect it. So I'm going to route it down here and I'm going to go through um, this light, uh, rear light casing right there. And I'm going to be able to route through that like my old one. You can actually still see the old routing, which I'm going to remove. So it, it's a good time. If you're going to upgrade your solar panels, you might as well um, update your wires too. Because wires get old and uh, they go bad over time. So why not upgrade that too? So we're going to redo the right wiring up into there. Okay, so I'm going to just remove this. It's actually pretty easy to remove. I'll take, let's take a look. So here's my old wire and I just have a drip line. So I did a little um, drop and then it comes back up. So if water comes down, it drips, it'll just come down this way. It's not gonna travel uphill. All right, so I'm gonna remove that and we're gonna take out the wire and do a new wiring. Okay, so into my car charger, I use this S SAE port, so I need to convert it. So I got um, this line connector and it goes to this guy right here and I don't have, I don't have any of these, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it 
parts and then splice it onto this guy. All right, so I made the, the connection. So now my ports are good. Let's start hooking it up. Just gonna route this through. That's pretty easy. We'll just leave this dangling for now and then work down there. All right, here's pretty simple too. Nothing complicated. I'm gonna put it down underneath here. I'm gonna connect it. Make sure your red is with red. Never cross them. Okay. Looks good. Put this back. Get that out of the way. Put this back on. Okay. And the wiring's pretty clean again. It's already connected, but this side is not, so we need to connect that. Let's put this bed back. Okay. All right, so now that everything's connected, it's actually safe to connect these lines now. Okay. That's good. So down here, remember, I want to make a little bit of a drip line. So this time, I'm just going to use a tie. Just going to use a, a twisty tie so that it just stays in a loop and doesn't straighten out or anything like that. So something like that. Okay. We'll get this back on. in all right and there we go that's it this line is going to fit like that and remember there's a there's a gap right there that i won't have any problems in with Let's kind of close that slowly so you can kind of see what i'm talking about okay no gaps there at all. I mean, no problems there at all with that gap. So now let's clean up the wire up there. And you can see there's 13.7 volts to the solar panels right now. And it is charging. So everything's working great. So up here, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use these Velcros uh, that came with the solar panel. Let's get it to the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to strap them right there. Okay, solar panels will be like that. There you go. All right, so here's the wiring. Um, I'm going to clean up the wires just a little bit more. We'll put a little bit more Velcro. All right, so just a couple more pieces of Velcro, and now it's really nice and clean looking. I have this big 200-watt solar panel coming in, no drilling, and I was able to route it to the inside. You know what time that is. It's Miller time.